Good morning, welcome back to the garden. Today is Saturday, October 2nd, and you know what that means. We're going to do a quick review, then we're going to go to you. That was quite a rainstorm we had this morning. Old frame garden looks like it's taken shape. We just put the bales here as placeholders. The zucchini is doing really well. As you know, on Saturdays we do a quick review, then we go to you and see what's going on in your garden. <laughs> Bumblebees. It looks like Carla's going to give us a couple more tomatoes before the end of the season. Today I want to go ahead and welcome a new member to this community, Mario. And in his words, here's a few photos of his humble permaculture garden. This is not humble. This is impressive. We hope you share a lot more of your garden. I wanted to start off with Mario this morning as a great example of how everybody views their own garden. Mario said it is a humble garden. I think it's an impressive garden. If you want to become a member of this community, it doesn't matter the size of your garden. If you just have one container on the windowsill, if you've got a permaculture garden, if you've got raised beds, if you've got a traditional garden, if you have containers on the patio. We all have one thing in common. We all like to get our hands dirty. And we all draw inspiration from each other. So you're all welcome. Well, let's do a quick review, and then we'll continue to look at you and what's going on in your garden. Sun chokes are blooming beautifully, and I have no idea when to harvest gourds. Leave a comment down below and let me know what I should do with these. I've been following this straw bale, and it's finally kicking in pretty good. It's taking it a little while. The carrots and the lettuce that we planted on top are doing really well. On this straw bale, you can see just how much it's deteriorated. That's the wire that held it together, and it's shrunk down well over half. Now the sucker we planted in the straw bale actually has another tomato on it. Our second cold frame is maturing out nicely. If you were with me this week, you know we harvested the fall purple potatoes. I am still just amazed. I'm still just amazed. flower on this turmeric. Can you see just how many peppers are on this super hot? That is just tremendous. The turmeric is starting to yellow out. Days are getting shorter. It is getting cooler. I hope you come by when we harvest that. And we're still bringing in banana peppers galore. Now we've dug a few of the sweet potatoes. One thing we have been following is the slips off that giant sweet potato. You're going to have to be patient. Well, we picked tomatoes all the way up to the top. Now we get to start down here at the bottom again. Something to be said for the deep mulch and trellising on a string. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. Leon, you're spilling your peanut harvest all over everything. That's amazing how much you can get out of a container. Thank you for sharing this. Larry is still getting a nice harvest as fall kicks in. Thank you, and keep us posted. Looks like I'm going to need to come out here and do some more picking. I told you, the most work you're going to have to do in the deep mulch is harvesting. Looks like I'm getting a little behind. Well, let's go ahead and take a few more while I get after this. This is a contributor we've been following and gaining inspiration from all summer long. Denise is transforming her summer garden into a fall-winter garden. She's been doing some studying on some cover crops. I think she's going to bring us along for her experiments to see what works best in her containers. Her harvest is still going good, as well as the new crops that she planted for the fall.
Thank you, Denise, for bringing us along on your journey, and we look forward to the rest of the year. Leave a comment down below and let everybody know how much you appreciate them contributing to this community. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. Fall is a season of sweet potatoes in North America. If you remember, not too long ago, Sheena found some sweet potatoes that were putting on slips. She went ahead and planted them. Now it's a race to the first frost here in northeast Oklahoma. And on the other hand, down in Florida, Vivian left a little bit when she harvested. And now she's into round two of her sweet potatoes. Ladies, thank you. This is awesome. Keep us posted. <laughs> Being right here on the back side of the compost pile, looks like we had a couple tomato seeds make it through. Well, nothing wrong with a volunteer tomato. Hey, let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. Jim's tree trellis is great. But the amazing thing is container cucumbers are still producing in October in Missouri. Jim had one tomato plant that was fighting the bugs, so he went ahead and took off all the good green tomatoes, so he's going to make some chow chow this weekend. And his sweet potatoes are blooming in their containers, and I know he's itching a dig. Be patient, Jim. Thank you, and keep us posted. Scott's Lantana had a tough time this spring with all the rain, but late this summer it started to take off. This is now extraordinary. Thank you, Scott, for sharing this. We have a new contributor, Waylon. Not spelled exactly the same, but a great name. He grew his sweet potatoes in a deep mulch garden. The results speak for itself. These are fantastic. Welcome to the community, and thank you for sharing. This week's contributions are just awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more. These next two contributors, I was lucky enough to be able to share slips with this year. Tammy grew her sweet potatoes in a deep mulched raised bed. She is curing her haul on a rack in her greenhouse. It's a spectacular harvest. I'm really glad I was able to share my slips with you. I was also able to share slips with Art. He wasn't sure about some of my advice throughout the year. I want you to know to be careful folks. I asked that Swaylin Smalley guy about when I should harvest my sweet potatoes. He told me I shouldn't have to till it frosts, but came out to the garden and look what I found. Sweet potatoes on top of the ground. But after this harvest, he did admit that I did influence him a little bit. Although Art, some of your creativity has influenced many other people. We're sure glad you're part of this community. And that's not a half bad haul. That's a three pounder, isn't it? Thank you. We look forward to seeing the rest of your garden the rest of the year. Please hit that like button. It really does help me continue to bring you content just like this. Let's take a look at a couple more. And his two pound sweet potatoes, the centerpiece of the Babcock's harvest. I've linked their channel in the description box below. And thank you for contributing to our community. You wouldn't hurt my feelings if you shared this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, you wouldn't hurt my feelings. Almost ladder time. Hey, let's take a look at a couple more. Valerie and Robert's fall container garden is growing great.
where this is impressive and we've all been inspired and gotten some great ideas, it's nothing compared to what they did this week. Valerie and Robert built a container garden for a neighbor who can no longer do this kind of physical work. We all tip our hats to the example you set and the kindness you show others. Thank you, and we are blessed to have you as part of this community. Yeah, I'm going to have to come out here and pick anything that's got any red on it. With this much rain, they're all going to start to split pretty quick. I do want to thank you for stopping by the garden for a few minutes for a visit. Aren't our friends and neighbors awesome? If you'd like to contribute what's going on in your garden, please email me at waylandsmalley5 at gmail.com. I guarantee you all other gardeners would love to see what you're doing at your house. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden. Well, Art, it does look like we got a little Crenshaw melon.